Hello friends! Moving on with our discussion on 3D from the ITJE examination point of view, we've now encountered this particular problem here. This problem is a little confusing because of the way in which the problem statement has been stated. They've asked us to find the image of the line which is x minus 1 by 3 is equal to y minus 3 by 1 is equal to z minus 4 by minus 5 in the plane 2x minus y plus z plus 3 is equal to 0. Now why do I say that the statement of this problem is a little convoluted? The reason is because whenever it's an image problem, this is the image that should come into your head. We have a plane, we have a line, its image is going to be this particular one. They're not asking us to find a line which is on the plane, which is the image of this line, but we're going to consider the plane as a mirror and the image is going to be formed at a distance which is equal on both sides of the plane. So the distance of the plane from my line and the distance of the image from the plane will be exactly the same. So we're going to use this concept. We do not have to find the line which lies on the plane. That's a little bit of confusion that is there in the problem statement. So the first thing, let's see how are these plane and this particular line. The plane given is 2x minus y plus z plus 3 is equal to 0. The direction ratios of the normal to this plane are 2, minus 1 and 1. The direction ratios of the line are 3, 1 and minus 5. Let's take a dot product of the two direction vectors and we get that the dot product of these two direction vectors is in fact 0. So this means that the normal to the plane and the line are perpendicular to each other which means that the plane and the line are actually parallel to each other. This makes life really simple. So the image of the line will also be parallel to the plane as well as to the line so, we are going to get all these three things to be parallel to each other. So, the normal through the plane which passes through point 134 has to be computed. Now, 134 is the point which lies on the given line. So, I'm going to compute a normal to the plane which passes through this point and I'm going to say that this normal also passes through the image line. So the normal to the plane which passes through 1, 3, 4 is simply x minus 1 by 2 is equal to y minus 3 by minus 1 is equal to z minus 4 by 1 where 2 minus 1 and 1 are the direction ratios of the normal to the plane. And this I'm going to say is equal to some parameter lambda and I'm going to find any point which lies on this particular normal to the plane passing through the point through which the, my first line passes in terms of lambda in this particular way. So 2 lambda plus 1 comma 3 minus lambda comma lambda plus 4 are the coordinates of any point lying on this particular normal to the plane. Now let's compute the point of intersection of this particular line which is normal to the plane and passes through the point on the given line and the plane itself because this point which is the point of intersection of the line and the plane is the midpoint of actually two points in the line and the image of the line. So the point of intersection can be found in terms of lambda and then I can compute the value of lambda because this point of intersection lies both on the line as well as the plane. I have found out any point which lies on the line and I'm going to substitute this in the equation of the plane and get the value of lambda. The value of lambda will be minus one. So minus one, four, three is the point which lies on the plane and is actually the midpoint of two points. One of the points which lies in the given line and the other point which lies in the image of the particular line. So the point through which the image of the line now passes can be computed because we know the midpoint of the point on the line and the point on the image. Using this, I can compute the point through which the image line passes. The point through which the image line passes turns out to be 2 into minus 1 minus 1, comma 2 into 4 minus 3 and 2 into 3 minus 4. Here, 1, 3, 4 is the point in the given line and minus 1, 4, 3 are the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining the given line and the image line. So from this, I get the coordinates of the point through which the image line passes to be minus 3, 5, 2. Now I know a point through which the image line passes. 
I also know the direction ratios of this image line because the image line is actually parallel to the given line. So I can easily find out the equation of the image line, which will be x plus 3 by 3 is equal to y minus 5 by 1 is equal to z minus 2 by minus 5. This is given in option A. So option A is the correct answer to this problem. So this problem is a little twisted, but Every time you see a problem with image, this is the logic that you have to use. The plane will act as a mirror and a point or a line whose mirror image has to be found will be at an equal distance from the plane as the given line or the point. This is the only logic that we need to use in any image problem in 3D.